A local nonprofit organization is a volunteer driven organization that is successful because of the schools, churches, civic groups, local corporations, and individuals that help them. Though a small staff oversees the program services offered to their clients, their dedicated volunteers perform the majority of the work. The story of this group and how you can help during Thanksgiving is coming up on Polk Place. Welcome to Polk Place, I'm Brian Lacey and joining me in studio is Steve Bissonette. Steve is the president of VISTI, which is Volunteers in Service to the Elderly. Welcome back to the show, Steve. Thank you, Brian. It's always good to be here. And also, Patty Johnson. Patty is the volunteer and events manager for VISTI. First time on the show. Yes, sir. All right. For those that You're might... You're just trying to make us feel more comfortable, and I really <laughs> appreciate your professionalism in doing that. Thank you. For those that might not know, what exactly is VISTI? Well, VISTI stands for Volunteers in Service to the Elderly. It's a local nonprofit organization that emerged organically when uh, some seniors asked for additional help, mostly in need for transportation, uh, to the doctor, to the grocery store, to church. And that was uh, a series of calls that were being uh, received by Catholic Social Services back in 1983. They put out the call for some help to respond to these requests, and a group of men started to transport folks uh, to their appointments, uh, to those trips, and then, of course, naturally called them back to say, you know, is there anything else that you need? How else might I be able to help? And out of those very, very humble beginnings, uh, we now, 38 years later, have an organization that serves over 4,000 seniors from uh, 70 years of age to 106. And our goal through that whole time has been to help these seniors to remain safe and independent in their own home. What are some of the things that you guys do now that, that helps these, these seniors in their homes? Well, transportation is still the bedrock of our services. And we, um, we find that as seniors uh, age in place, uh, many of them either can't or frankly shouldn't be out driving. So that is still uh, one of our more critical needs. And we, from a group of uh, volunteers that started this, we now have 10 drivers that are paid to do nothing but transport clients every day. We're averaging between 65 and 70 trips a day, so it takes a lot of people to keep them on, on task. Uh, additionally, over time, with the support of the community and some corporate sponsors and donors from you know, individuals and other agencies, we've been able to expand to other services. The first was really food. Um, you know, an old roommate of mine said sometimes you have too much month at the end of the money. Mm. Well, the <laughs> same is true if you're waiting for that next Social Security check. So we started a food program where uh, supplemental groceries could be provided once a month. And that now has evolved to almost 1,200 people every month getting uh, an array of uh, canned foods, dry products, and some paper products. And then also, as a, a, a supplement to that, we have those that really can't or shouldn't uh, be cooking for themselves. So we have the ability now, through a partnership with Florida Southern College and First Presbyterian Church in Lakeland, to provide hot meals to people uh, twice a week. Now, Patty, as far as volunteers go, talk about the importance. Um, we heard it in the intro, uh, you know, a small staff, but the volunteers are, are what keep you guys moving. Talk about the role that they play and how folks can join you if they're interested in volunteering. Okay. Well, first of all, we have volunteers of many ages. It's not just retired folks, but it's also high school students on up through working um, community um, corporations uh, and also then of course retired folks that what they do is um, they go online to visti.org they fill out a volunteer application that tells me their availability and it tells me their experience and it tells me what they're interested in doing for us because our program opportunities are listed there. 
And so then um, I get that application, I give them a call, and I get a chance to really find out what it is that they love to do. Um, that's my job, is to match them up with something that's very fulfilling to them, which of course uh, benefits the seniors. So that's um, where it starts. You guys have an event coming up, as Steve said, and it's probably your biggest event of the year mm -hmm. and where you guys need the most volunteers. Let's talk a little bit about it. In sheer numbers, what are we talking about in one day delivery and how do you how do you quarterback that many volunteers into making sure that these seniors have a Thanksgiving meal? I'm pretty sure Patty's asking herself that question <laughs> a lot these days because she's only been on staff for a few weeks. Yeah. And, and this is a big event and it takes a lot of choreographing. Uh, but we have some volunteers that have been doing this for years and they basically are becoming subject matter experts in different aspects of this. But what we're talking about is a one day delivery of Thanksgiving meals that are fully prepared, fully fresh, and, uh, and delivered directly to homes of our, our clients. Um, this is the 25th annual Thanksgiving meal delivery. And this year we're looking to deliver 2,000 Thanksgiving meals the day before Thanksgiving. So it's that Wednesday, November 24th. And all of that will take place out of the RP Funding Center in Lakeland. And the chefs there are preparing the food. The uh, food is then uh, put into these brown paper bags, which we brought some because uh, in addition to just serving a functional purpose, these are also opportunities for children to engage creatively in sharing the holiday season with those that are, we're serving. So we find that with everything we do, there's a practical need, but then there's this sort of, that old commercial about, you know, uh, this aspect of this is priceless. Mm -hmm. We actually have some seniors that call and, and say, thank you for the food, but that bag was so beautiful. I have saved them for several years now. So this event will entail volunteers uh, packaging the food, and then mostly it's going to be uh, people coming in their vehicles to the RP Funding Center and then um, staying in their car while we load the, the, the bags and the plants in their vehicle, and then they will be given a specific list of clients to visit and to distribute those meals too. Now, Patty, if you can show the bag, uh, kind of show it to the camera over here, and then um, also um, let us know which day they're going to be doing this, from what time to what time, okay. and uh, how they can get a hold of you to, to volunteer. Yes. So um, first I'd like to read this bag because it was handwritten by a five-year-old, and it says, this isn't a turkey, as everyone can see. I made it with my hand, which is a part of me. It comes with a lot of love, especially to say, I hope you have a great Thanksgiving day. And then there's a little turkey on the back as well. So um, a lot of families get involved doing this. Um, the, we have children that will get out of the car and take the bags up to the seniors. All of our seniors are 70 and over. Of course, they love to see these kids. Well, Patty and Steve, I want to thank you guys for, for everything that you do for the community, making a difference and, and making sure that uh, our elderly community is served. And, and thank you for everything. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. It takes an army of volunteers to deliver holiday meals to those in need at Visti, and they need your help during this Thanksgiving season. Visti is in need of volunteers to deliver 2,000 Thanksgiving dinners November 24th, the day before the holiday. Volunteers can pick up the meals beginning at 1 p.m. at the RP Funding Center in Lakeland, located at 701 West Lime Street in the northwest side of the building. Registration is required, and you can do so by going online at www.visti.org forward slash Thanksgiving, or if you'd like to give them a call, 863-284-0828.